Welcome to the kingdom. Hello and praise the Lord. Welcome to Sila Moments with Pastor Fred Moore. I am excited and delighted that you have joined me and thank you for all of you that encourage us about Sila Moments with Pastor Moore, even the members that be quoting what you uh, get from these times together in Sila Moments. Shout out to the membership of the kingdom that support us and have subscribed and those of you that plan to subscribe, but we want to encourage you to subscribe, share us with your family and friends, because if this blessing you, it will only bless them. I've been, I've been negligent in that I've been wanting to give a shout out to our organization, Covenant Connection International, and our overseer, Pastor Valerie Holcomb, Bishop Roderick Mitchell, our leadership, Bishop Roderick Mitchell, Presbyter Alex Hilliard, uh, Presbyter Robert Poole, Presbyter Carlos Keith and Presbyter Anthony Wallace. Shout out to you guys. Much love, love, peace, and blessings. Me and Michelle, as you guys know, we love and appreciate our organization so, so very much. Let's begin, beloved, with prayer, and then we'll get into our thought for this new year. Remember, we're talking about a new year, new you, new view. Say that with me. New year, new you, new view. Say it one more time. New year, New you, new view. Let's pray. Father, we thank you now for this time in your word. Speak for your servants are listening. Anoint messenger, message, and listeners. In Christ's name, amen. We've been <coughs> from Jeremiah, excuse me, from Jeremiah chapter one, we've been dealing with this seal, I thought, new year, new you, new view. Jeremiah chapter one, verse number 11 reads, moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Then he said unto me, thou hast well seen. Notice God complimented Jeremiah on what he saw. Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time saying, what seest thou? And I said, I see a seething pot and the face thereof is toward the south. Beloved, I started off by giving you some New Year Selah quotes and scriptures. And the last time we was together, I gave you those quotes and scriptures. Now, one writer said this concerning New Year's resolutions, and I know we're not so much dealing with New Year's re resolution. Again, our focal point, beloved, is a new year, new you, new year, new you, and new view. And I said to you in a previous podcast that it's not a New Year's resolution that you need is a New Year's revelation that you need. And, and, and one person said this, listen, when you think about it all, new, he says, when you, when you think about it, all New Year's resolution basically fall into three categories. Let me, see, let me quote one off. He says this, when you think about it, all New Year's resolutions fall basically into three categories. They deal with, number one, things that make us look better and live longer. Number two, things that make us have more. Number three, things that will help us to get along with everyone. Again, one writer says, all New Year's resolutions basically fall into three categories. They deal with things that make us look better or live longer, or things that make us have more, or things, watch this, that will help us to get along with everyone. He says they could be called longevity, prosperity, and peace. So what does God want us to have the proper view of? I want you to see beginning where God wants you and I to have a prop, our proper view. Because again, new year, new you, new view. I'm going in the reverse order. God, most of all, first of all, want us to have a proper view of God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to explain more in a minute. We must have, listen now, if we're going to be a new year, new you, new view, God wants us to have the proper view in these three areas. First of all, a proper view of God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm quoting the English Standard Bible now, English Standard Bible. John 17, 3 says this, and this is life, and this is eternal life, that they know you, this is Jesus praying, this is the prayer of Jesus in John 17, and this is eternal life, that they know you, 
the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Now, that's important that we have a proper view of God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because saints have become confused about who Jesus is. We're living in a day, beloved, where some people are preaching another Jesus, another gospel, and another spirit. Another Jesus, another gospel, and another spirit. I heard one preacher on the radio, he said, we can either have a transaction Christianity or transformative Christianity. I thought that was good. He said, what type, what type of Christianity, what type of Christianity are you dealing with? And I'm going to go somewhere with this. You can either have a transaction Christianity where we just do all the ritualistic things to say that we're religious, to sum it up. Or you can have a transformative Christianity where, watch this, when if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. The old life is gone and the new life is has begun. Listen, beloved, I believe God wants us to have a transformative Christianity and not a transaction Christianity, meaning well, we just do all the religious stuff and we're just that. We're religious without a relationship. We're religious without a relationship because you can go through all. Listen, listen, Paul was in one city and forgive me, I can't remember the scriptures in the book of Acts. The Bible says Paul was in one city and he was there a few days. Watch this. And he says in that city, there was all kind of statues. And then after a few days when he couldn't take it no more, he says he spoke to the men of the city and he says, listen, as I have been in your city and I've seen all your statues, he said this, I perceive that you are very religious. He said, but I saw one statue that said to the unknown God. And then Paul said this, let me talk to you about this God that you really don't know. Listen, in these days, beloved, you got to have the proper view of God because listen, if you do not know God for real, for yourself, a lot of people are being thrown. Listen now, they've been shaken. They're walking away from God, the God of the Bible, because there's plenty of gods, but the God of the Bible. But you and I must have a proper view of God. Listen to Jesus' words again in John chapter 17, verse number three, the English Standard Version says, and this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you've sent. Now, why am I starting with that? Because beloved, if you don't know the only true God for real, anything else you might hear on this podcast is null and void. It's not even worth listening to. That's why you got to know Jesus' prayer was that they may know him, the only true God. We're going to continue this next time. This is Pastor Fred Moore with C-La Moments. We'll see you in our next episode. Love, peace, and blessings, beloved.